So much going on with AI nowadays. We talk a lot about OpenAI and all these other AI companies that are more Western based. And I saw this article pop up about China. And I know that obviously the Chinese are going to be investing heavily in, in lots of other transnational corporations. This article from TechCrunch by Ingrid London and Rita Liao. China's Moonshot AI zooms to 2.5 billion valuation, raising 1 billion for an LLM focused on long contact. Okay. Having looked into the Apollo programs the other day, the actual moonshot cost considerably more than two and a half billion in, in modern day money. It's more like uh, 250 billion. <laughs> if you really want to go for a moonshot, you need, you need to put more, more money down than that. Anyway, the race to build the next big large language model is on. And now a contender out of China has reportedly banked a major round of funding to catapult it to the front of the pack. Moonshot AI, an artificial intelligence startup founded less than a year ago, building LLMs that can handle long inputs of text and data, has raised over 1 billion in a Series B round, according to multiple media reports out of China. If accurate, this latest injection of capital would value Moonshot AI at 2.5 billion, the largest single funding round for Chinese LLM developers in public record. The startup, which goes by Yuzian Mian in China, has been focused, like many in AI right now, on the development of large language models. Specifically, in its unique selling point, that is, it's working on being able to process long-form context and response, an area that has long outfoxed others in the field. It's been moving quickly to roll out its first efforts to address this. In March last year, to coincide with the fifth anniversary of Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon, founder Yang Lin's favorite album and the inspiration for the startup's name, the startup launched with a 100 billion parameter LLM. Then in October, Moonshot launched its first chatbot in China, Kimi, which claims to be able to support the processing of 200,000 Chinese characters in a single conversation. Allegedly, eight times the length of what OpenAI's ChatGPT 432K can achieve. Okay, we have contacted Yang Zlin, the AI researcher and academic who founded Moonshot with Zhao Xin and Wu Yuxin for comment, and will update this post if and when he responds. Meanwhile, the reports say the funding is coming from a list of big name investors that include a number of potentially interesting strategic partners. Co leading the round are e commerce giant Alibaba and Hong Shan, the VC formerly known as Sequoia China, according to South China Morning Post. Others in the round included Chinese super app Mai Tuan and Xiao Hongshu, sometimes called China's answer to Instagram, according to Chinese tech blog. Lake Post. Moonshot previously raised 200 million from Hong Shan and Zen fund in a round that valued it at 300 million, according to Pitchbook Data. Hong Shan contacted for comment declined to comment on the reports. Alibaba has not responded to a request for comment. We also separately reached out to Moonshot. If accurate, Hong Shan's involvement here would be notable. The Choir Capital formally announced last year that it would split off its Asian operations in India and China amid rising geopolitical tensions. That process is due finally to be completed in March 24. But in the meantime, the China operation has come under scrutiny from the US government for its AI deals in the US. And the US firm is equally being probed for ongoing activity in China. Given all this, it's no surprise that the once high-profile investor may be laying low here. Significantly, the rest of the investor list that's been reported is a veritable who's who of household tech names. This underscores the ongoing retreat, or at least pause, among financial investors into promising Chinese startups, especially those out of the West and doing deals in US dollars. But it also points at how, just as we have seen play out in the US, with companies like Microsoft, Google, and Amazon plowing billions of dollars into LLM startups like OpenAI and Anthropic, big tech companies in China are scrambling for what might be their big AI play in the months and years ahead. Having a financial foothold in a handful of promising hopefuls is one way to shortcut or augment whatever they may be trying to build in-house. OpenAI 
rules the roost right now in the US and arguably everywhere else that it has expanded. But in China, there is no anointed leader. So a lot of the investment activity feels like it's about spreading bets. Alibaba, to that end, is also an investor in Baichuan, founded by the Zhuashuan Wang, <laughs> a pioneer in search engine space, which raised 350 million by the end of last year, passing a 1 billion valuation in the process, as well as Vipu AI, another LLM startup, and Zero One AI, the LLM company founded by Kai Fu Li. Alibaba's archival Tencent, meanwhile, has backed Haichuan, Zipu, Minimax, and Lightyear's Beyond. Make no mistake, China's internet giants have replaced those Western money VCs in backing the company's LLM contenders. All the same, if $1 billion sounds like an awful lot of money to hand over to a startup that is less than a year old, one of the reasons big names might be willing to take big bets is because of the pedigree. Yes, perhaps it's a, a dream team of sorts. Maybe they've got uh, a lot of IP that they're ready to uh, capitalize on. Pink Floyd fan turned AI trailblazer. Ah. Yang Jlin had a long list of achievements to his credit even before starting Moonshot. He holds a computer science PhD from Carnegie Mellon University, where he was advised by Russian... The thing about Chinese names is they're kind of odd, but they're very punchy and they're short, so it's easy to spit them out. But like Russian names are just long and <laughs> convoluted. Was advised by Ruslan Salakutinov, who previously headed up AI research at Apple. After the iPhone maker quietly acquired a startup he founded called Perceptual Machines. An acquisition that seems never to have been reported, but is noted in the professor's LinkedIn profile and professional timeline. Prior to that, he studied at Tsinghua University. Advised by Ji Tang, he also worked at Google Brain and Meta AI. Yang also has another AI startup in the works, Recurrent AI, which appears to be focused specifically on technologies built to help salespeople do their jobs better, with features that sound not dissimilar to, say, Gong AI. As of 2021, Recurrent had raised some 60 million, according to PitchBook. And while there hasn't been much capital activity since then, the business does appear to remain operational. Importantly, for Moonshot, Yang was also a key author of Transformer XL, a key development in LLM architecture for enabling natural language understanding beyond a fixed length context, something that has played a significant role in the development of Moonshot's platform and arguably a wider mission. Moonshot's focus on longer input and output and producing more accurate results for queries involving this lays the groundwork for the company to target text-based cases that haven't been widely tapped by existing LLMs and generative AI applications, such as legal documents, fiction writing, and deeper financial analysis. Kimmy Chat is trained on information up to January 2024. The chatbot says, It's not only the Chinese player working to remove the limits of long context. Baichuan, back in October, announced its Baichuan 292K model, which is said to process around 350,000 Chinese characters in one context window. Blimey. But the market for fundraising remains constrained globally. But this round speaks to the willingness of those with deep pockets. Jump in when the right opportunities come up. Yet, even with the wider global AI frenzy, when some 200 billion is set to be invested by 2025, forecasts Goldman Sachs, the funding landscape in China is surprisingly tepid. In 2023, China recorded around 232 investments in AI space, a 38% decline year over year, according to research from CB Insight. The total amount raised by China's AI firms amounted to roughly 2 billion, 70% less than the year before. Okay, so what am I getting from that? There's a decline in, in investment in Chinese AI, but at the same time, there's an uptick in, in the investment in AI? This is a contradiction here. Is this more of basically a consolidation of industries to try and create a working competitor? That's kind of what I'm getting from this. I suppose good for them, really. The best kind of situation we have when it comes to AI is one where we have healthy competition. So uh, I would say good for them. 
And also, who's best going to be positioned to serve the Chinese need for AI, but the Chinese people themselves? If you've got these ridiculously complicated large language models, and all of the ones that we're using are being trained upon our language, you know, the, the Chinese languages, there's more than one, it's, it's very complex and a very different kind of setup. So obviously, they're going to have to make all of this stuff themselves. So this is not exactly an area where you should worry that a large investment in Chinese AI is going to somehow offset Western AI companies. They're going to be focusing largely on servicing their own markets. There'll be some overlap. From the sounds of it, there are a few steps behind some of the, the leading edges, and you know, Microsoft and OpenAI, the ridiculously advanced Sora. You know, a lot of companies are playing catch up. But this is good. This is good news for the Chinese AI market and for, for AI development in general, I think. Good for them. Pigwig, out! <laughs>